it's Dow Phoenix, and I have RPG Maker MV now, and I'm going to switch my game I've been working on called The Sovereign over to this program. Uh, I'm going to ditch VXAce, which VXAce was very nice, but it just lacks some of the capabilities that I really wanted to see, and uh, MV seems like it's going to narrow things down. Now, it seems like it's got a lot of nice capabilities, but one thing that might be immediately apparent to people that are uh, you know, familiar with RPG Maker is how do you add resources? I mean, you have, of course, your base resources, uh, like say your tile sets, for instance, you can choose from all the tile sets that are built into the game, uh, but the resource manager is gone. There doesn't appear to be a way to add them directly into your project. Um, that's actually not the case at all. It's actually really simple. Uh, you no longer need to use RPG Maker MV to do this. And so I wanted to show you guys how to do this. So first I'm going to pull up a folder of some of the DLC uh, that came with the game. And then I also have a folder of the tile sets that are included already in the game. You know, it, whenever you create a new project it automatically loads them all in there. And it's just a very simple matter. You just copy what you want and then paste it into the folder that you desire. Um, you can disregard the text documents. They just are used to symbolize what each uh, tile represents. Um, but anyways, once you have that loaded in there, you just go back to your project. And uh, from there, you go ahead and go to E, since I loaded a tile set E and it will now be in the list here, the Nature Temple. It's automatically populated. Uh, there's no need to exit MV and re-enter it or anything of that nature. It'll automatically be ready for you. So just click Apply, and then if you notice over here, all of a sudden, we have new tile set options. We have the E now that we didn't have previously, and bam, I already placed it on the map. So it even saves like your tile set properties. So even if you decide to delete this tile set or change it, you know, replace the tiles on it and so forth, it will automatically update them for you. Um, so that's really neat. And so yeah, this is uh, that's all you got to do with that. Really, I mean, the process works the exact same for any other resources you have, like music and icons and fonts and you know so on plugins of course even are loaded directly through here uh, so it's just a very simple process and no longer requires you to handle everything in RPG Maker MV it's a lot quicker too because you can load multiple resources at once uh, no longer do you have to load them one at a time uh, so hopefully this helped you guys out if you'd like to see more RPG Maker videos, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to check out my other videos. Uh, but till then, Down Phoenix out.